What's going on guys? This is Rob with Rock Guitar School. Today we're going to be looking at the Bugera PS1 Power Soak. Now this is a uh, amplifier, guitar amplifier attenuator. Now I gotta be honest guys, I've never used one of these before and I am very very surprised I have never never used one because they this thing is freaking amazing. Um, I've been reading a lot of different reviews on all the, you know, there's obviously the, the Rivera um, Rock Crusher, I believe it's called. Obviously, you're getting, you're getting into, you know, you're getting into the hundreds of dollars for some of those other ones. I kind of just wanted to get one just to see what the heck they do, you know? So this was, you know, as you know, the Bugera brand, they're known for their inexpensive, um, you know, equipment. And they're all based off of, you know, a previously made product. If not, they're taking the exact design. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if it's licensing or they just take it. But from I've done the research on this on this on this and, and I, I couldn't believe it. I found out that this particular power soak, this attenuator, this has been designed by Mike Soldano, no question. You can actually look at the uh, there's a Tone King video where he's at NAM 2013. He's interviewing interviewing Mike Mike Soldano and they're talking about the Jet City Jet Tenuator. Now you can see it is it's it's an exact replica. I mean, it's there's no question. And I've actually done further research. I've googled, you know, all different message forms and things like that. Other people are confirming it too. Now, I don't know what the deal is as far as what what Saldano did as far as licensing or what, but I'm about 99% sure this is the same thing. So, Mike Soldano designed it. I'm pretty cool with that, man. It's and, and it you can tell this thing sounds freaking amazing. I, you know, like I said, I don't, <laughs> I don't really have a have a comparison to go with. I've never I've never tried one before, but I'm a I'm a stickler. Like I I really I think that's why that I just you know I wanted to stay away from them. But you know if you're playing gigs uh, or if you're at home and and you want to tame your amp and there's just there's just no way to do it. You want to get the full spectrum of the amp. You know, you want to get the amp cranked so you can get that, you know, that 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 gain, that 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 saturation. You want to crank the power tubes basically to get the maximum sound out of the amp. And it just, you know, to be honest with you, it stinks when you can't. You know, you you, you pay all this money for the amp, and or, or or all your equipment. You want to get the most out of it. So it just stinks when you have to, you know, tone it down or whatever. It's nothing worse when you're at a gig and it's just like, you know, the sound guy comes up to you. And it's like, oh, it's too loud. You know, it's like. I'm on two, you know, like I can't, I can't go any lower. So this thing, I mean, just playing with this thing for the past hour or so, I mean, I, I can confirm it's pretty amazing. I, I'm keep, and this is a volume I, I probably wouldn't even be playing with ever. I mean, I'm usually like with this particular amp, I'm usually around here. Um, you know, I got it about 50%. So running, running through this Bouguer. So then I keep, I've got this about about 30. So this seems to be a pretty good sound right here. And, you know, again, guys, I couldn't believe it. You know, like I said, these Bouguera, if you if you know anything about about this stuff, you know, I've, I've never really used their stuff before, got to be honest. But I know they replicate, no, uh, like one of their amps. I think it's a copy of the, uh, the J JS1, the Joe Cetriani amp, the PV. Um, again, I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know how they, they're able to do that. If it's licensing or they just, <laughs> they just take the design and just, all right, we're going to do this. And who the heck knows where this is made. So, but it's, you know, like I said, you can, you can, you can Google this. You can, uh, you know, there's that Tone King video with Mike Soldano himself. And it looks like they don't make these anymore. So the only company that is actually making these is Bouguera. So, as far as I know, it didn't. I, I tried Googling as far as purchasing. It looks like you could, you know, find some used ones as far as that original Jet City um, attenuator. And it's called the Jet uh, Jet City Jet Attenuator. So, you know, check it out, guys. And this is way cheaper, too. It looks like they were charging a couple hundred bucks for that. This one I paid, I think it was a hundred bucks. I mean, if not less, on <laughs> through Amazon. So, you know, I. It, it, if it breaks, I mean, I might pick up a couple of more, more of these. I mean, they just, you know, again, it's just, they just sound absolutely phenomenal. It's just amazing. You get that, you know, that full tone out of the amp. 
you know, again, it's you're you're not you're not going to get, you know, what it sounds like. I'm saying again, but I don't think I talked about this. You're not. There's no way you're going to get the exact, you know, if you're pushing this amp, if I took if I took this out and I'm pushing this amp as it is right now, you know, at, at, at halfway, you know, you're blowing people's heads off, but there's no there's no way you're going to get that same sound, you know, at, unless you unless you just crank it, crank the volume and get the full full blast of the amp. But this is the closest thing you're going to get, you know, and I think. You know, when you listen to it, um, I'm, you know, in the in, in the in this next section, uh, you're gonna be impressed. I'm impressed. You know, you're gonna be able to hear the strings on my guitar. On my guitar. I'm doing uh, just the room mic, so you'll hear the strings on my guitar. You'll hear how low you can actually go with this and still achieve a great tone, guys. So, guys, um, so I, you know, this is this is pretty amazing. So check it out again, Mike Soldano. There it is. Um, Check it out, guys. change any settings uh actually i turned down the the amp just slightly uh maybe about 10 percent down from 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 50 percent uh Bouguer is still at around 30 so this is a pretty good bedroom volume you know, you know just kicking around <laughs> Turn up the amp just slightly, back up to uh, fifty percent. You know, again, I think I was saying in the intro video, this is, you know, for me, you know, you're getting that juice out of the power tubes, you know, at a, at a low volume. It's just incredible. <laughs> Obviously, so I'm using the 50 watt uh, EVH. Um, this is a 6L6, so my favorite amp. <laughs> Or uh, <laughs> have the cops show up or anything like that, but 
seems that seems to be a pretty good gig volume. Um, if you're playing a gig at, at the halfway point on your amp here, um, I'm not sure if you'd be playing that club or wherever you play. Maybe if you're in Guns N' Roses, I'm sure it would be okay or something like that. But that is not a, a good a good level for for if you're doing um, you know a club gig at all because you're gonna you're gonna get the sound guy telling you to turn down and um, that's the worst. So. So, so we'll turn that down just a little bit. I mean, or we could turn down the amp. I mean, itself. I mean, I think. You know, I was playing around a little around with it before, so you know we could turn down the volume on the amp. I really, uh, you're getting that. I really like the way that it it um it sounds to me when it's at 100. You know, uh, for some people or wherever you're playing, wherever you're using it, it, it might be a little bit loud, but um that seems to be where it's at. From what I've read, you're still you're not you're still not um, given like. 100% like so say even if I put it at 100 I'm still not giving the cab like straight power like it's still at like I think I read 50% of what the amp actually is producing out so it's still low even at 100 so I'm at again if I took this out of the chain um, you know with that um, if I was still at this volume without this uh, you know be blowing heads off <laughs> one of these things before so this was an experiment you know, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money I know you know some of the other ones like they really get can get really costly so I saw this one I saw there was some pretty good reviews on it so why didn't I give it a shot for a hundred hundred bucks I mean and then come to find out the thing was designed by Mike Saldano so it's a win guys you know I might I may buy a couple more just in case you know I know who knows where this thing is made so I, I don't know you know it's uh it's a Bouguera so I don't I don't know exactly you know who made it or what so you know it's uh it's it sounds great to me so check it out for yourself <laughs> Market for an attenuator. This is this is a really good buy. I mean, again, designed by Mike Saldano. You can't really beat that. So for a hundred bucks, why not? So take care, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it.